Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig HD here with another Q&A Sunday video. Uh, thank you to everybody for sending in questions. Let's get this bad boy underway already. Ah! Ah! Dickhead. Fergus Hunter Space asks, do you have any break dancing titles or trophies? I can't say that I do, to be honest with you. It's all just... Ah! Tim Dobnik asks, if you could bring any player from the class of 92 into the team, theoretically, who would it be? My favourite player was Ryan Giggs, uh, but I'd probably have to go for Paul Scholes. I think he'd be more of an asset to Manchester United at the moment. Basically, just plonk him with the middle of the pitch and watch him control the midfield for the next freaking 10 or 15 years. Oh, Paul Scholes, I miss you. I miss you, Paul. Panini Matt asks, you have three words to describe what you think of Adrian Childs. Uh, boring. Um, Melter and Toad Boy. Matt asks, which football team do you hate the most? Well, you know, there's only a couple of football teams that are swear words in my house, but certainly one of them's... Leeds. Nadge One Gamer asks, do you think Liverpool will get murdered by AFC Bournemouth next month? I think they're going to get battered by the Cherries. Come on, lads! Uh, would be a great result for Bournemouth if they could somehow get a result against them. Realistically, it's probably not going to happen, but they've always got that outside chance. They're in really good form in the Championship at the moment. Liverpool are very inconsistent, have an absolute mess. If it's going to happen at any time, now is the time. One L would ask, do you think we'll lose David De Gea to Real Madrid or Barcelona? I freaking hope not, mate. We better not do. We have to fend off all offers uh, for David De Gea because he's a top quality goalkeeper. Uh, one of the very best in the world, in fact, and he's such a young lad as well. He will continue to improve and become the very best goalkeeper in the world. It is no doubt to me, but uh, I think if you can fend off the offers from Spain, I mean, it is his home country. You can't ignore the attraction that ha that has to a player. The only saving grace is, I think, he, because he's come from Atletico Madrid, he probably freaking hates Real Madrid and Barcelona, which is good. Adnan Badora asks, if you had a choice between Messi and Ronaldo coming to United over the summer, who would you choose? <laughs> Will asks, do you class Rojo as a liability or think he's a good signing? Bit of both, to be honest with you. He is a bit of a liability. There's certainly some evidence to suggest this season that he's been a bit flamboyant with some of his challenges. The game against City, where he's uh, slid in, should have been a penalty and a red card potentially went unnoticed. But that was a very ropey challenge indeed. Could have cost us big time. Went unnoticed, luckily for us. Um, but, uh, you know, realistically speaking, I think he's going to be a very good, talented player in the future for us. Obviously, it's difficult for players uh, from a different culture coming over to uh, the Premier League. It's different footballing culture you can't always expect them just to bed in set and then immediately especially when we've got the ropey players around him and you know injury problems and uh, just not that much stability at the moment at the back I think he's done all right I think he will progress into a fantastic player and I think he will be very important for Manchester United over the next coming however many years thanks for the question will ask should we drop RVP oh it pains me to say this, man, but I really think that we uh, we should do for at least a couple of games or a game or two because, I mean, right now he just looks completely out of it, doesn't he? On form, when he's firing on all cylinders, he's one of the very best strikers in the world, one of the very best finishers of the ball in the world. But uh, at the moment, he's just absolutely gash, isn't he? It's, there's no rhyme or reason to it either because he had a he had a pretty good World Cup. Louis van Gaal's come in, you know, somebody's got a good working relationship with. But just gash on the pitch, man. I don't understand it. I think dropping him may give him the rest required, may give him uh, you know, the, the chance to gather his thoughts and sort out his mentality and uh, also give somebody like James Wilson the opportunity to come in and, and get, get some experience, maybe possibly Shine or Falcao coming in with a couple of starting roles. But form is temporary, class is permanent. I always say this and it's 100% true. Robin Van Persie will be back. He's a world-class freaking player, man. You don't just lose that talent in a matter of a few games. He's just in a bit of a rut at the moment. Sort it out, Robin! So Alex, tactically analyse Gerard Slit in a Scouse accent. Just for the record, like, my name's Stevie Carragher, and I'm a huge Liverpool fan. Uh, you know, I've been supporting Liverpool ever since I was young enough to see the fucking car, mate. You know what I'm saying, but, uh, you know, when Stevie Gerrard, he, he, he's, uh, he's only, he slipped over, he's had a fucking man, hasn't he? I mean, what a fucking calamity. Dagger asks, your reaction to meeting Gerrard in person? Dave C. Blanky asks, when are you going to buy a new hat and will you wear it on your next video? 
So that was my Q&A Sunday video. Thank you to you guys for sending in questions as usual. The Bacon Brigade, you're all a bunch of legends. I do appreciate it. Please continue to do so. Comment in the box below using the hashtag AskThePig and hopefully I'll get around to using that for my uh, upcoming Q&A Sunday video. Or you can tweet me at MrFlyingPigHD using the hashtag AskThePig. You've been watching The Pig. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take it easy. <laughs>